We've unlocked more new content, and since we're at the Slayer Tower as well as the title of the video, you can probably guess what it is. During the second gargoyle task, we've made it up to 355 kill count, and that gave us the brittle key to open up the gate. We're not going into the grotesque guardians blind, I've done a little bit of research. Mainly looked up that you need range, melee to switch into, and still the rock hammer to kill them with. The basic overview is to fight dawn until 50, dusk until 50, dawn until dead, dusk until dead with a couple special attacks. And that if we apparently mark this tile here, it becomes basically a safe spot for dusk, because you essentially have him stuck in a pathing animation loop. I guess the main goal we'll go for is to get the 25 kill count achievement, and maybe see if we get a unique along the way. So instead of being nervous about a new boss, let's just go ahead and ring the bell and get this started. I want to pray range. Step over to here to lure him up. Walk back onto the tile and that should confuse him. And then we can kind of hang out and attack Don. And if he comes that way, same thing, just on the other side. That might work. Yeah, that looks a little bit better. I don't know how to get him to dance perfectly, but at least it's a little better than it was. This kill's gonna take a little bit of time. Oh, Don's already there, so now we switch to melee. And die immediately because I wasn't paying attention. I was literally looking at the switches for the click. I didn't even see on the screen what happened. Alright, let's review footage. I'm just now realizing I lost my Slayer helmet on that death, so I'm really hoping that these guys don't hurt too much. Come on. There's the specter drain that I'm used to seeing right as I'm going through the door. And of course now I can't climb the chain, so this means we're running back through them again. What are they? Mage? I think? No? Range? That doesn't matter, we're here anyway. Get her stuff back. Cool, it's gonna cost 50k every time I die, so let's try to not do that too many times. So I think we figured it out. Standing underneath at dusk during that phase just makes him do stomps, I believe it was, that killed me. So as soon as we see Dawn fly away, switch over to Prey Melee, step out, and then switch gear. I think that should work. Let's sit through the cutscene again. This will be nice when we're able to skip this getting a little better at getting dust trapped faster and Don should be leaving soon yep right there so get out of him switch to here and watch for an explosion looking animation now he just pulls down rocks unless that was the animation I was looking for but I don't think it was these look like pretty normal attacks that's probably what it is. Or is that just him calling down boulders? The boulder disappeared that I walked into, so I thought it was safe. Good to know that can happen. Okay, so it is that little charge up looking thing. flew away. Oh, this is their disco phase. Now nah, that makes sense. Alright, I forgot about that. Collect the balls. Back in position. Try to shove Dusk into the spot. And we should be good for part two. Get over here. There you go.
Get back up here, you big brute. Ah, uh, Dawn can send them out multiple times. Did not know that. And we're running out of prayer. Let's see if we can at least knock her down once. Five more prayer, come on. Hey, we got a dusk kill. I'm happy with that. What is going on here? Oh, that's the prison and we can just click out of it, but dang, that happens quick. Alright, let's leave before we get trashed again. So when Dawn disappears, just spam click around the arena is what I'm picking up from that. So far, so good. Now let's go for that last quarter of the fight. A little bit of an inventory adjustment. Bring in some extra bonus combat levels. The main thing is the prayer potion. Let's get the kill count this time. So he isn't guaranteed to throw one of the stones onto the square you're on, but just to be safe... I don't... I wasn't paying attention to him himself. That would make some sense. Stepped on me again, so try not to walk under him at all. And they're both back, so this is the discotheque. It's only one round, too. Perfect. So that's not as bad as I was expecting it to be. Okay, we should take Dawn down here soon, or she'll throw out some more orbs. I wonder if I killed her here, if this whole thing wouldn't matter right now. If she dies, do the orbs go away? Oh, there we go there. So now it's going to be the prison. She's not dead? Okay, now he absorbs her. Now we get thrown and we can just spam click around and it runs us out. I'll be honest, I don't remember how the rest of this fight goes. He's not meleeing me, he's ranging me. I think? Like, am I just taking a mixture of damage or now is it completely done? Now it's fully blocked, so I wasn't praying right yet. No, because there's a seven. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Do the one where you throw me into the wall, that's fair. Oh, you're almost down. Heal up, because I'm going to make another dumb mistake. So he doesn't do the blinding attack in this one, it's only the prison? Not bad, we got our first KC. Never spooned with a 1KC unique, but hey, that could have been worse. Like the first two times. The first bit of granite dust. And we got don't get hit by the lightning. And don't let Dawn heal from her orbs. That was the second prison. And that's because I wasn't paying attention to him. Other than that, these ones are more about kill speed. Yep, 20kc, the other ones for don't get hit. Doing all of them in one run. That also means you have to kill him quick enough to do done before dusk. I wonder if I can do that if I brought in a full switch, but I don't really care about it right now. I just want to stick with this as we continue to learn it. Alright, kill two, what do we get? Man, I will be happy when I don't have to do that cutscene anymore. How far do I have to run away from him when he does the charge? Oh, come on, I can't see the orb under him. There it is. This part is very nice with this tile. And it's about one, two, three away from the corner, so four total. Switch to melee, just spam click away, and now I don't think I switched to melee because he usually just tends to do those range attacks on me. Come on, do a few good hits. There's a second prison. That's the only part that we failed is he threw a secondary prison attack. And I forgot to even drink the combat potions. Okay. Looks like three more combat achievements complete. Don't look at the Eclipse, Prison Break, and Granite Footwork. And I got Adamant Boots for the collection log. The only thing I didn't do was killing him before he uses the prison attack for the second time. So I think let's go for perfect. Because like I said, I forgot to drink the combat potions. Alright, two goals in this one. See if we can get perfect guardians. And let's try to get our first 2kc trip. So far pretty good. And there's the blinding light. Okay, never mind, never mind. <laughs> watching the rock shadows wasn't watching dusk. So if you step underneath him, you just get hit, or did I walk into a rock? I didn't even see that. 
this is uh, probably not gonna be the two kill count trip. Until a chunk of this fight becomes muscle memory, it's gonna be a lot of mistakes being made. Like, I already forgot that she shoots out the orbs next. Two to one melee. Three to one melee. Is it just random which one he chooses to do here? Okay, so I'll look up his max hits in this version and see which one does more, but I'm gonna guess praying melee is better. So if I can find a way to shave off a few more seconds, this should actually not be a too bad fight. I'm not even gonna worry about the 2kc trip anymore. Goal number one is just to get the perfect fight. Come on, kill count four, do me well. I think I only have to turn around when he turns orange. Forgot about the balls. So this should be a prison, pray melee. Now we just tank his attacks and hope for the best that we don't get a second prison. Oh, he's gonna do it anytime, I can feel it. Ooh! We got perfect grotesque done. It only took four kill count. I'm happy with that. You know what? Let's combo that together. This is going to be the two kill count trip as well. Because this will give me KC5 and I don't have to watch this cutscene anymore. The potions are about to expire, but I think we've shown we're okay without them already. Excuse me, I wasn't even looking at him. I mean, like, I was running away, but I guess that attack makes me face him. Back to both of them again. I always forget about the balls for some reason. Can we just ignore them? Can I hit a 12? Not on me, on Dawn. Yes. Hey, okay, so we can just ignore the second round. Another box. Click to the edge. Not bad. That hurt. Come on, just take him down. I like it when the game listens to me. Well, we've hit our 5kc. I can quick start it and no longer have to watch the cutscene. But like we said at the top of the video, probably gonna get the 25 kill count and call it a day. Also, if you want a chance to show up in my chat box during a video, feel free to join my friend's chat channel. I'm so lonely in here. Uh, the rock fall isn't only the shadows, it looks like I got hit by two of them standing next to it. Like this? Yep. Standing next to the shadow hurts you too. Good to learn. Even with mistakes, we're still doing better. Fastest time as well as didn't even use a prayer potion dose. Right as we run out of prayer points, but 7kc done. And we are now at the point to where I'm not drinking doses of the super potions or prayer potions for each kill. So I think I can start leaving those behind. 10 kill count and we got nothing as usual. Although Runite Ore doesn't hurt. 13 kills done. We're officially just past halfway to that 25. Decided to use some of the super combat potions that they drop every now and again against them. And I still have no idea why sometimes this phase goes completely smoothly and other times he absolutely destroys me. And that should be KC15. I'm beginning to understand why people don't really tend to enjoy this boss. They're not that they're bad to fight. I would just rather be killing normal gargoyles. But luckily they're pretty easy to kill. I guess that was also our first three kill trip too. Didn't even realize that. What is this one? kill count 19 this one's only special because it brought us 86 ranged and we keep going oh don't kill me or make me teleport out of this last kill finish him thank you okay 20 kc down still no good drops and for kill count 25 we get The task complete. I almost thought I got a unique for a second. We were gonna end off with one more kill count, but we got the Book of Knowledge random event, and as per always, put it on Slayer. And that'll bring us up to 78. Have a good day, guys.
Almost forgot, but here is the loot from the 26 kill count that we've done so far. 